What's going on YouTube? So I've got some new stuff in the tank to show you. Lights just come on and I want to show you my new fish. So as you can see swimming around there I've got two clownfish the Oxysincla I believe they're called and then what else did I get? In the back, before he gets away, this is the first time I've actually seen him when the lights are on, but I've got a orange spotted goby. So hopefully he'll help sift around the sand and get it moving. Um, I've had a little bit of problem with the coralline allergy starting to grow on the sand, but so I thought that might be a good addition. And then I also got a sand sifting starfish, which he's been pretty active so far. Um, not only down in the sand, but you know, uh, crawling up on the side of the, the glass and stuff. So, also right there, eh, I got some um, green star polyps. And then over here, got some pink pulsating zinnia and then right here I got a green leather toadstool I got two cleaning shrimp or sh skunk shrimp and they seem to be doing pretty good they're you know coming out grabbing food as I feed and they've pretty much staked their claim about right here and around up around this frog spawn so that's my additions to the tank so far uh, everything seems to be doing really well while I was buying these guys I asked um, you know some questions and it actually seems like you know since my tank um, was really a, an existing setup that I just moved it uh... it's actually supporting life a, a lot better than a new setup would have been at this time obviously the, the live rock helped but just having everything else in there uh... you know ha having the, the crushed coral help seed the tank and everything it, it seems like I'm actually really working with a, a tank that's been set up for a very long time but I, I'm still trying to take it slow and only add livestock every couple of weeks but I believe that the um, yellowtail damsel might have to go He's pretty aggressive to the new tank mates, and when when they get, you know, right here where he's clinged out under those rocks, he gets pretty aggressive. So I, I would rather trade him off so he could have a better home and not not be so aggressive and and hurt you know the new guys and wh what I'm trying to build as a tank not that I don't like him I just uh, you know I, I've got to protect the livestock I do have and, and if if one fish is going to be a problem then I, I would prefer to uh, to get rid of him but it's kind of unfortunate, but I I kind of expected it from what I read. Danzels typically need to be added towards the end of your livestock because they can get so tutor territorial. So by him being one of the first, and you know, staking his claim to that tunnel, he he's pretty much owns this whole cool side of the tank. But, anyway guys, 
that's all I've got. Just want to show you the new tank, guys. The uh, the firefish is doing really well now. It's starting to come out a lot, especially when the lights are on. I really don't see him when the lights are off, but um, you know he he's down in his burrow, uh, I guess sleeping. But as long as he's doing good and out when the tanks or the lights are on and comes and gets food, I'm all good about it. But you can see the goby down there. I think he's seen as a reflection too and uh keeps keeps going to that but anyways better cut it off so have a good one we'll talk to you guys later